Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make flautas, basically roll tacos. So in case you guys want to learn how to make this easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with the ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need corn tortillas, one pound of ground beef, three small potatoes, four jalapenos, two chile serranos, five roma tomatoes, one small white onion, two garlic cloves, one handful of cilantro, garlic salt, black pepper, cumin, salt, and oil. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right, so first we're going to start by peeling our potatoes. All right, so once we peel our potatoes, we're going to give them a quick rinse and we're going to place them in a small saucepan with water. So now we're going to place them at medium high heat and we're going to let them cook for about 30 minutes or until our potatoes have softened. All right, so while we wait for our potatoes, we're going to start to work on our salsa. So we're going to place our four tomatoes, our jalapenos, chile serranos, two garlic cloves, and half of our onion into a medium saucepan. We're going to bring them to a boil for about 10 to 15 minutes or until our tomatoes and jalapenos has, have softened. Next, we're going to grab our extra tomato and the other half of our onion and we're going to chop them into small pieces. So once we have our tomato and onions, we're going to wait for our potatoes so we can start working on our meat. All right, so once our tomatoes and our jalapenos are done, we're going to remove them from the stove and let them cool down before we start blending them. All right, so once they have cooled down a little bit, we're going to place them in our blender. And we're going to add a little bit of salt. So now just mix it until we have our salsa. All right, so once everything's mixed, we're going to add our cilantro. And I don't like my cilantro to be super blended, so I like to add it after everything else is blended. And I'm just gonna give that, mix it for a couple seconds. Okay, and now our salsa is done. So you just want to try it for salt, and then that's basically it. So I'm just going to transfer it into a bowl. Now, if you want a more runny consistency, then you can always add water. For me, this is perfect. So now we have our salsa ready for when our tacos are done. All right, so for now, our potatoes are done. So now I'm just going to remove the water and start smashing them as if we were making mashed potatoes. Okay, so now we are ready to work on our meat. So on a medium frying pan, we're going to add a little bit of oil and I'm going to set it to medium high heat. We're going to wait for that oil to heat up and then we're going to place our onions and our tomatoes in. All right, so once our oil is hot, we're going to add our tomatoes and onions. And we're just going to cook that for a couple minutes or until our onions are translucent. All right, so once that's done, we're going to place our meat in with our onion and tomato. We're going to add some garlic salt. Black pepper. And 
cumin. And a little bit of salt. And now we're just going to break our meat down. And once all of our meat has turned brown, we're going to add our potatoes. All right, so after eight minutes, your meat should be done. And if your meat let any fat out, right now is the perfect time to drain it. So I use Alina's meat, so mine doesn't let any fat out. So now I'm just going to add my potatoes. I just mix it all together. So once we have mixed everything together, we're going to turn it off. And now we have our stuffing for our flautas ready. All right, so in a medium frying pan, I'm going to set it on medium high heat, and I'm going to add my oil. So the oil just needs to be enough to cover our flautas. All right, so I'm going to grab a little bit of stack of tortillas and I'm going to place them in the microwave for 45 seconds. All right, so now we're just going to grab one tortilla and some of our meat mix mixture and then start rolling it. And I'm just going to grab a toothpick so the thigh stays together. So just repeat the process until you have reached your desired amount of taquitos. All right, so once our flautas are rolled, we are ready to fry them. So now we're just going to cook them until they start turning a golden color. All right, so once our taquitos have turned into a golden color, we're going to remove them from the oil we're going to remove the toothpick, drain as much oil as you can, and set them in a kitchen towel. All right guys, so once your flautas are ready, we are ready to serve. And this is how I like to serve my flautas. I mean, you can serve them however you like. So I like to place some lettuce on top. Now you wanna do this, you know, when you know that you're ready to eat, because otherwise your, your flautas get soft and soggy. I'm going to add some Lemon. I'm going to add some queso fresco. Some crema. Going to put some tomatoes because we love tomatoes. Just make them look cute. And then on top, of course, our delicious salsa. Oh, that. Not easy. We want that's hot. Huh, baby? Let's see it's hot. No, I already have your taquito right here. Oh this is how Giovanni likes to eat his. So it's oh, ready for the meat. taste test. That's meat? Yeah, it's meat. I want a bunch of meat. And then we're gonna put some more queso fresco on top. Because I love queso fresco. Wait, what is that, Bob? And now we are ready. My mouth is super watery. And we are ready to eat. Like delicious flautas. Alrighty, guys. And now for the best part. The taste test. Yes, are you ready? Yeah. I am so ready. Okay, yep. let me grab my taco here. So hard to eat with just one hand. But there we go. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Super delicious. Super easy. Super delicious. And your kids are gonna love them too. You put too much. Perfect. Alrighty guys, and there you have it. Super easy and delicious flautas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up 
share with your friends and family and if you recreate this recipe please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias and if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye oh yeah, yeah. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, eres perfecta.